Huge news, folks. On September 2nd, in just a couple days, our nonprofit friends over at the CCAN Action Fund are going to announce the winners for the raffle of three amazing electric vehicles. If you haven't bought your ticket to win a Rivian, Lucid, Porsche EV, or a Volkswagen ID Buzz and more, you're almost out of time. Here's the kicker, folks. This EV raffle for the planet is big time undersold. Literally thousands of tickets are left unpurchased, which means, mathematically speaking, your chances of winning are higher than ever. It's simple. Fewer tickets purchased means better odds for you. And remember, each ticket is worth not one, but three chances to win prizes. You could win a Rivian R1S like mine, or a Lucid Gravity, an Ionic 5, or a Chevy Equinox. So if you haven't picked up a ticket already, what are you waiting for? And if you already have one, might as well get another one. Increase your odds. Tickets are just $200. Go to www.evraffle.org to get yours today before time runs out. That's evraffle.org. The link is below. In the last episode of Out of Spec Bits, Colton almost burned down his house. Literally. That's how they sound on the Discovery Channel, or at least that's what I would like. Yeah. <laughs> Crikey! Uh, so now your house has no power because uh, you almost burned it down. Nothing. Yep. Yeah. And it wasn't you. It was the uh, incoming power feed from the meter got fried. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, it was smoking. Yeah, actually smoking. Should have got a video. Well, it, it, it wasn't actually smoking. It smelled like smoke, though. It smelled it like smoke. It was nasty smelling. Yeah. Okay. So... Um, but, but now you've got to actually power stuff in your house. Yeah, the only thing I really care about is the fridge because we got a bunch of food in there, the freezer, that kind of stuff. Right, and uh, you know what you own? A, a Kia EV6. A Kia EV6 and a Kia EV9. Yes. So um, this will save the day. <laughs> yes, Here, it will. Let's tell the viewers about this. I have never opened this. Actually, I think it's been open once when we first filmed it. This is a vehicle to load adapter. That is correct. So your vehicle comes with an inverter that takes the DC stored energy of the high voltage battery pack and outputs 120 volt, I think up to 20 amps. Like it does a full thing, like 1.5 to 2 kilowatts, which is plenty to run a refrigerator. Yep. Right out of your dang charging port. Freaking awesome. And so it's so cool with electric cars to have exportable power because in a situation like this, we were just on the phone with your dad who's been in some videos and is awesome. Yeah. And you were like, hey, can you bring some coolers over? Because we got to get the stuff out of the fridge. Yeah. And I was like, dude, you have a Kia. I know. That's <laughs> awesome. Yeah. So um, this is something you can do with Cybertruck, with yeah. Lightning, with Silverado. Um, but this is just a normal hatchback that offers this function. Now, if you got a high spec one of these, oh, I can show you how to do this. Yeah, there we go. Uh, if you had a high spec one of these, they come with a power port in the middle, in the rear of the seat. This one does too. It does too. Okay, yeah. cool. But so you can uh, do it there or there. This is 15 amp max. Yeah, so you can go from either direction, 15 amps, which is more than enough for what you need. Yep. And you can show this end goes into the J1772 port because this is before they went to NAX. If you had a NAX one, they make one for NAX cars. Probably. I think. Well, I haven't seen actually. Yeah, I have at least aftermarket seen them. Okay. You can also do this with the Tesla. It's a little bit odd, but they essentially fool the car into thinking it's DC charging. Hmm. And then it energizes the, you know, the pins in the, the NAX port to be DC. And then it actually pulls power out and the car somehow allows it. And it can do Whoa, a small inverter. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm sure they'll software update it to like not let that happen, but you can actually buy a thing for a Tesla that lets you export power. Dang, that's which is, crazy. Which is kind of wild. So what we need to do is to save the meat in the freezer. Yep, we need a long extension cord, which I gotta find. Okay, well we can run to the hub and get one. We could, yeah, we definitely could. Mm. Yeah, I know we have one somewhere. Okay. But so, that's the only one we have out here right now. Which so is in the next clip, you're gonna see us with an extension cord somehow, and then we're gonna power your house from your car. Yep. Then, you're tethered to your house, so you can't go anywhere. That's the downside, yep. but uh, <laughs> at least your freezer will stay cold. <laughs> hey, there's a lot of money sitting in there, so that's yeah. good. Great, well, let's get, it, uh, let's get it powered up sooner rather than later. Cool. So we've got one extension cord into another extension cord, which then leads over to me when I'm standing near the Kia EV6, which we have conveniently sized the length of the cable available to match perfectly with the car in the garage. Yep. Um, yeah, where's your thing? Oh, shit, it's probably in the back. <laughs> so, 
obviously if this is not a long-term solution, but it, again, super cool to have electric cars with power to save the day. Save the meats. And you know, this thing only outputs a couple kilowatts, but in this situation, Colton, it's all you need. Got it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Awesome. Okay, so um, I don't know if we need to put the car in utility <laughs> mode in order for this to stay on the whole time. I don't know. It's what? not plugged in yet. So. You're at pretty high state of charge, right? Yeah, there, look at the... I think it's at like 60%, something like that. It doesn't have to be on the bottom. It can be up on the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just going to try this out. Let me approach it from this side. I hope we're going to reach that thing. Let oh, yeah. No the... issue. No, no, we're in. We're good. I'm just lining it up. Just give me one second. Oh, crap. I remember the first time I plugged something. <laughs> Plugging in can be quite difficult with a, this, the problem is this connector sideways. We're in. Okay. And then there's a button here that I can hit. That oh, goes green. The car chimed. Oh, and it's making a blinking. So it means it's discharging. But it's not discharging into anything right now. Oh, you haven't plugged anything in yet? No, <laughs> I got to move the entire fridge, brother. <laughs> oh, you got to move the fridge. Yeah, oh, I can help you with that. Okay, so the car is ready to rock. Dude, you got almost 12,000 miles on this. I know. Does it say anything inside? It says 11,458 miles. Transferring V2L. <laughs> can I see that? <laughs> yeah, it does say transferring. It doesn't do it when you open the door. <laughs> oh, okay. Which is so dumb. Right. Wait, but it did it with this door open. Goes. Transferring vehicle to load. 55% SOC. Okay, we're not going to show moving the fridge, even though hey. I think it would be quite a upstairs. Go, go upstairs. Yeah, that's great. Upstairs, upstairs, hey, listen, Charlie. Hello. Go. This is the inside of Colton's house. It's beautiful. It's stunning. It is really <laughs> go. It's a nice house with no power. So, it's gone going back in the Stone Ages. We're actually electrifying Colton's house for the first time through his Kia. <laughs> Dude, did you know electricity is now a thing? What? Yeah, you can actually power stuff. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. So, we've got this cable running in here. All yeah. Right. Oh, okay. You ready to move this thing? Is it on casters or do we need to put I it have on? I no idea. Okay. Oh, it's moving easy. Get out of the floor. No, floor's fine. All right. Got you want me to get back in there? Back in there. Oh, why would they tie that together? That's really annoying. Oh, that is annoying. Is All right. It? Yeah, let's continue to move it out. Yep. Bring it around. All right, let me untie this. We can bring this around. Yeah, that might actually help. Got it. Kyle, this way. Oh, Kyle's going the other way. Okay. <laughs> Are we showing the viewers inside my messy house right now, too? I made sure to show them how beautiful What do you mean? It's so messy. Crap everywhere. Look at it. It's already on. Oh, the fridge is on. It's on? Okay, so I've got lights over here with some ice cubes. You think we can get some ice out of it? Oh, for sure you can. Oh, dude, what more do you need? Just stop relying on the electric power grid. <laughs> Stick it to the man and uh, just power everything off Kias. Let's see here. Okay. This gonna... is honestly so cool. Okay, the dogs really are cool. locked up, right, Colton? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, we need to see if it does, if it pulls more power from the car when you pull ice. Mm. Yeah, look, it's freezing. <laughs> So it's actually doing the thing. Dude, this is awesome. All right, let's check the car. Scott, come on out. Let's see what the, what the Kia says. <coughs> don't, don't push the door open. I almost hit the car, but I didn't. Okay, let's see. Hold on. Oh, 0. 0.1 kilowatt. That's it? <laughs> Seems <laughs> underwhelming. Oh, Colton, do, uh, hit the ice machine again. That's okay. got to pull something. Okay. Let us know when you hit it. Scott, you can see the screen? Yeah. Okay. So Colton's running in to hit, hit some ice here. Hit it. Come on. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Oh, point three. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I had no idea fridges could pull such little power. 
That's only 100 watts. Yeah, it went from 0.1 to 0.3. No way. Yeah, so it cost 200 watts to get those ice cubes out. <laughs> wow. And that's why you should put meters on every device in your house so you know what they're pulling, because it's kind of fun. I was actually thinking about that last night while I was sitting awake wondering if my house was going to burn down overnight. You need to get one of those smart panels, like the span panel. What do you mean? <laughs> um, well... <laughs> what more do you need than this? You could probably live like this for a while. Easy peasy. You take it to the, it charges so fast, your ice won't melt. So you could take it to the <laughs> yeah, EA <right>. station, <laughs> rip 240 kilowatts, and then come back here and power your house. I mean, this would charge for a while. Or oh, this would dude, sit on this for... A week? Yeah. More? We could do the math, actually. Let's say it's pulling 200 watts. He's been really into math this week. How, how big's the battery in this thing? 77.8 kilowatt yeah, hours? Exactly. All right, so 77,800 watt hours divided by 200 watt continuous load. I'm just saying that's the average because sometimes you pull ice out. You could <laughs> run this thing um, for 389 hours. We could divide that by 24. You could do 16 days. Damn, that's crazy, actually. <laughs> no rush to get an electrician over here. If you watch the previous video, Colton's set. He's fine. Chilling. Now I can't leave, but yeah. You can't go anywhere, but <laughs> <laughs> you've got ice for 16 days. Might need to go get my other car. Oh, not with those wheel covers. <laughs> Fair enough. It's okay. very efficient, though. Yeah, we could drive you over to the um, to the shop so you can get your Model Three, or you could you could drive my E Golf. Yeah, I don't know. Or we have a G Class on test. I'll take that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> G-Wagon. Sounds Aren't good. Are you guys going to Moab, though? We're going to Moab tomorrow. Yeah. There you go. So, yeah, you're more than welcome to drive Coda, RAV4 EV, iMeve. I just need to get my car. It's all good. He's not interested in any of my great electric cars. E-Golf. Yeah. E-Golf's sick. It's on your wheels. Yeah, the, the hole in the hood really does it for me. It's a speed <laughs> hole. All right. Well, uh, congratulations on uh, powering your freezer from your car. That's a cool application. That is actually really, really neat. That is awesome. I love it. I guess what you could also do is when Jessie comes home with her EV9, you could plug that same adapter into hers. She's going to be dead, though, because she only got to like 28% last night. Oh, okay. Been driving around. So. Well, feel free. Yeah, you can use the uh, yeah. office charger for free. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. See you on another one again soon. Alexa.